It's Friday on GMFB, but Saturday morning. GMFB weekend. Rams, Cowboys, which team goes back to the playoffs? Oh, yeah, we don't need to see that. Jesus, what, are you guys doing what is going on over there, Sean? What are they doing? They're talking about the Niners. And if they separated themselves from the rest that guy of the is. NFC, D'Angelo Hall is going to share just, his thoughts on the top teams in the conference. And they'll pick the winners of all of Sunday's games. It's called GMFB Weekend. Sometimes Sean O'Hara shows up, and it's right here on NFL Network. Check Mike Garofolo, babysitting him. Yeah. Is that right? Yes. Is he does off the rails on yes, the Saturday the shows? Yes, you saw the pelvic thrust right there. His mom was on set, too, and he was doing that. What? Yeah, yeah, Jeezy's wow. out of control. <laughs> Smoking jacket, control. pipe. Yeah. Wow. Selva, get us back on yeah, track here. Out in the newsroom. <laughs> in Wait, is that, is that pelvic thrusting from Mike G? Is it, is it off the screen? Is it done? Is yes, it off? it's done. You can come out. It's all right. <laughs> you can look. Okay. The scene is over. Take my eyes. <laughs> Good. Erase, just two. Erase, just erase. two. You three's a penalty. Ice picks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, here we go. Well, Bucks quarterback uh, Jameis Winston spent his time in practice throwing tennis balls, and that's what happens when you suffer an injury to your hand. You're working on your grip. Kind of important for a quarterback, right? Well, he's progressed from doing simulated throws during Wednesday's practice. Head coach Bruce Arians calling the injury day to day. The Bucks hoping he'll be ready for Sunday's tilt against the Lions. He's second in the NFL in passing yards and tied for second in passing touchdowns. However, his 23 interceptions are the most in the NFL. There's optimism on the Adam Thielen injury front. The Vikings receiver limited in practice again with his hamstring injury. He suffered the injury week seven against the Lions. He tried to return two weeks later. He hasn't seen any action since. Minnesota has a showdown with the Chargers on Sunday. 49ers corner Richard Sherman believes he could play against the Falcons if he had to despite his grade two hamstring strain. Sherman expects to go the following week against the Rams. Remember, head coach Kyle Shanahan saying he expected Sherman to miss two weeks of action. NFL Network insider Ian Rappaport reporting he could be sidelined until January. Panthers interim head coach Perry Fuel letting us in on his pregame ritual. Admit it, you were just a little curious. Come on. Well, Fuel telling reporters what he does. He puts a towel under his hotel room door, cranks up the heat, and does hot yoga. Fuel added after that he's ready to get his game face on. He says he then gets ornery, cranky, and moody, and is ready to go to battle. You can actually do rage yoga now. That is, no pun intended, all the rage. But either way, he likes to crank up that heat and... Get his focus. Get the game face on. O'Hara, I know you did that. Come on. N Namaste. Yeah, we used to call him <laughs> fuel in the fire mm. when, when he was yes. with the G-Man. Towel under the true? door. Sean, when you were at Rutgers, you had a, a sock on the doorknob, didn't <laughs> yeah, you? Yeah, right? you know the uh, fabric cool. softener on the toilet paper roll. Sure, too, yeah, you know, I know just that. To, wow. Just right, so that you can get the, the proper aroma. <laughs> that old gag. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Will smiles awkwardly. Thank you, Will. We love you. Uh, Bill Steelers, Sunday Night Football. Let's break it down, guys. Both teams currently holding on to an AFC wildcard spot. Can Duck Hodges and the Steelers take care of business at home? With more on this matchup, welcome Aditi King Kabbala. Good morning, football. Okay, it was a good news, not so good news kind of day on the Steelers practice field Thursday. Running back James Conner was once again a full participant. He talked about playing in that Sunday primetime matchup against the Bills. Also back on the practice field with him, running back Jalen Samuels. He talked at length about a backfield that would feature him and James Conner and Benny Snell and Trey Edmonds. The not so great news, wide receiver Juju Smith-Schuster. He had to leave practice early and was listed as a limited participant. Now, of course, the Steelers offense has been playing without Juju Smith-Schuster for a few weeks now. Deontay Johnson, James Washington, they've really stepped up. But the truth of the matter is, after this game Sunday night, we may be talking about the defenses instead. Okay? We like a defensive battle in a world of offense. Aditi, you're the best. Thank you. The Bills holding on to the top wild card spot in the AFC. Here's the deal, Kyle. They're game up on the Steelers, the who are currently sitting right. in the final wild card spot by virtue of the conference record tiebreaker over the Titans. My question to you, my friend, is yeah. can the Duck continue to quack and fly against a feisty Bills D? There's a Duck-Bill situation. What are we doing? Oh, look at you. Oh, that's great. Look at that.
that. Um, no, the answer is no, though. I like the wordplay, but the answer is no. This, this game, to me, is a huge dueling Spider-Man game. Fantastic cold-weather defenses, young, unproven quarterbacks. Um, the Bills defense is great. I mean, they, they did as best as you can do against Lamar. They did, played Brady into his worst game of his career, maybe, this year. I think this is a 13-10 to 10 game, and it's going to be Josh Allen or Duck Hodges making a mistake and the defense making it. I think it's really low scoring. I think Kyle did a nice job yesterday highlighting the familiarity that Tomlin and McDermott have. Yeah. These guys were college teammates at William and Mary, and like Kyle said, they're the dueling Spider-Man meme. They are so similar, and yet that Steelers defense. I saw what they did to the Rams in a cold weather game a few weeks back. That was good. It, at home, I feel like that might be the case here. Buffalo needs to rise above because that Steelers D is as good as any right now in yeah, the league. They're not the Browns or the Cardinals. Mm -mm. They didn't they're have a, a ton of success again. All right, I'm going to have a little fun with this duck stuff. All right, you see a duck go motor along in the water. Everything, sure. they're, they're graceful, right? They're not doing anything. And then mm -hmm. underneath the water, you get a picture. Those legs are going like this. You're right. And that's going to be Hodges, all right? Because that's his mind right now. Because uh -huh. this defense for the Bills right now, what Sean McDermott does, listen, he's a, a Jim Johnson protege. And I remember studying Pressure. for him when he was in the Eagles. Every single time you turn on third down, it's a different front. It's a different look, a different blitz. So that's what Duck's up against right now. He's got to figure out, what are they trying to do to me? They're going to bring more, one more blitzer than I've got. I've got to find a way to solve that riddle at the line. This Bills defense is for real. They've only given up one passing touchdown over 20 yards. Mm. So, Duck, check it down, bro. Don't worry about the big play, all right? Mm -hmm. The slow Duck wins. Mm -hmm. Allen gets a primetime game, just one interception in the past eight weeks up against the number two ranked defense in the – or in the Steelers, so we'll see how it goes for Duck Hodges and Josh Allen on the other side. Okay, your take again, though. Hold on, this is important. I don't you know think that it. Duck Hodges is going to be very comfortable facing all those bills because he's a duck, right? I don't know. What the, I, I think just, it is. I, I like that. I, it just flew out of my mouth. <laughs> That's I don't the best know. stuff. I think it's a good take. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I, don't I know. love it. The take duck it. would What's love that. The take? Yes. Either way, we can all agree that the Pro Bowl is coming up in a new vote. Okay. Here's the deal 2020 Pro Bowl, every player likes the Pro Bowl, right? Oh, for sure. Unless you're you. playing the Super Bowl. Check out the Total Access Pro Bowl Players Revealed show. It's presented by Verizon on Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern and only on NFL Network. More GMFB up ahead. Um, the DOWG sat down with William McGinnis. I cannot wait to see this. Find out which Jeff quarterbacks Christian? make it into Snoop Dogg's top three. Did you really just see a Jeff Christian? I thought so, but there's no way. But I thought he was a Steelers fan, but he's with the Rams. He Rams. Yeah. Rams. A couple OGs. Fan of the league, like okay. us. Okay. <laughs> Get ready for the weekend. Let's go, baby! Every Saturday morning, tune into NFL Network for the latest news with a little swagger. He has the ability to carry this offense. Touchdown! The weekend begins tomorrow.